Good morning, everyone. Um, I thought I would um, introduce Maggie to you today. Maggie, look at the screen. This is Maggie. She is one of my puppies. She is 11 years old. She's very small. She only weighs 10 pounds. She has little tiny paws, but she wanted to be part of the video today, so I thought I would give you a chance to see her. All right, let's go ahead and start reviewing the slide for what you're going to do today. All right, your first slide is the one you've seen all week. It's just how to use a slideshow. So you want to read each slide and complete the tasks on the slide. You want to make sure to link to other sites if noted on the slide. Um, you may always use a text reader to read all text and the link to Google Forms. You need to turn in each daily slideshow when all the slides are complete. There's still several of you who are doing slideshows and then leaving them not turned in. Um, if you can't remember how to do that, there is a video on our classroom under materials that shows you how to turn that in. And then you can email or text me from 8 to 3.30 if you have any questions. We're almost through the first week, guys, and I'm really, really proud of all of you for your effort and hard work. Right, Max? All right. Today in language arts, we are going to do a warm-up. Then we're going to do a escape from Alcatraz after reading activity and then a central idea activity, which is actually going to be a check. So I'm going to change that right here. So a central idea check. Um, and also remember to review for your doodle quiz, which is going to be tomorrow. It's the same format as what we've had before, where you'll have to know the definitions of all the doodles. And then you will insert the words that you looked up the meanings for into sentences. All right, we're going to start with our warm up, same as the previous days. Just click on the link and it will take you right to the warm up. You'll fill it out. You'll read the text. You'll answer the questions and then you'll submit when you are finished. So there's your warm up. Okay, when you're done with that, here is our lesson for today. We're going to do a central idea activity using the text Escape from Alcatraz. And you're going to complete a Google Form activity about the text that will be graded. Notice that will be graded. So you are getting a grade for today's lesson. All right, I included the text on here. This is the same slide you've had all week. If you want to access the text for any reason, for today's lesson, you probably won't need to look at the text. But just in case, here it is. All right. The first thing that you're going to do in your lesson today is you're going to watch this activity on Central Idea. It's a video. It's a really good video. It's short and it does have some good strategies that you can use to find the main idea. So you should just be able today to click on the video and it should come up um, and just make sure you watch it so that you have an idea of um, what main or central idea is before you start the activities. All right, your first activity is we've given you the central idea and we've given you the details. And so you're going to read and you're going to highlight three details from below that support the central idea. And you need to remember that details are that support a central idea are important details. They're the big ideas of the text, not the random details that authors put in just to make a text more interesting. I gave you a little hint over here that says when picking the details, think about what resourceful means. The reason I said that was if you look at our central idea, it says Frank Morris, Alan West, and the Anglin brothers were resourceful. So you want all your details to match that idea of being resourceful. To highlight the ones that you want to include, once again, you just highlight the text and you pick a color that you want to use. Okay. All right, the second activity that we're, or second question about central idea, in this, this question, we give you the beginning of the central idea, we give you three details that will support it, and you need to finish the central idea. So we started with, it was extremely difficult to, and then I gave you three details. Um, here's your hint for today. What do these details all tell you about? So you're going to need to read, de read the details, look at them all holistically, and think, okay, what do these all have in common, and what is it extremely difficult to do or say or whatever? So you'll fill in, you'll just type in whatever you want 
to put there after you've looked at the details. And then your final central idea of practice is going to be the, to read the three details for harsh punishment. And in this example, we don't give you any sentence starters. We want you to try to do the central idea of your on your own. Um, the hint is, though, what do all of these details tell you about life in prison? So read them all together. Think about the title. Think about what these are all about and come up with a central or main idea of that section of the text. Okay. Once you're done with that, there is a video out here that will explain central idea a little bit more. I do want you to wait until after you've done the three activities before you watch the video. But if you click on the video, um, it's actually a mini lesson and you'll get to see Hi. it um, and know what, what it's about. All right, and then finally, you're gonna take a central idea check. This is a Google form. So if you just click on this link, it'll bring up the form. Um, it has three questions for you to answer. So you'll put your name first and last, please, guys. Put your teacher, so you'll click on Weber, whatever period you're in. It says option five here. I'll take that off. You do not have an option five for periods. So it's just first, second, um, fifth, or sixth. Here is the first question. The central idea of escape from Alcatraz is it was difficult to escape from Alcatraz. So then you're going to choose the detail below that does not support the central idea. So the one you pick does not support the central idea. Then you're going to explain in paragraph form why the answer you chose up here did not belong and did not support the central idea. Make sure you're picking the one that doesn't support the central idea. And then the last question is about an objective summary. It gives a little description of what an objective summary is. And then you're supposed to choose sentences that do not belong in an objective summary. In this particular case, you can choose as many different examples as you want. They're drop downs. There is more than one choice that does not belong in the summary. When you're finished, submit, and then you will be done for the day. Um, just remember, once again, if you need me, you can call me or text me, call me or um, email me at any time. All right, hope you have a great Thursday. We have one more day in the week. Maggie says goodbye, say goodbye, Maggie. Goodbye, and I will talk to you tomorrow.